There's three levels of awareness. I used to teach this back in the day, three levels of awareness. One is they uh, have kind of a vague goal and they have no idea who you are, or what you do. That's level three. That's the furthest away. Like everybody, like they kind of have a goal, but they really don't. Like they just make more money. I just wanna make more money. They're like, I don't know the f what Airbnb is or what you are. Level two awareness is when they're goal aware, okay? They, they know what they want and they know of your method, okay? Or they're doing something uh, to your, similar to your method. Level two is made up of the people that want, they know what they want. They wanna make more money. Like they want to have, a, they have six figure goal, for example. So level three is generic. Like I just want to make more money, but they don't even know about Airbnb or they're not doing anything about it. Really. They got to be, con those people got it in your marketing. You have to convince them to want to care enough to pursue that goal of making more money. More like a, you got to really teach mindset for those people to buy your stuff. You got to teach them how to think. Level two, they want, they're already working on a goal. Third level, they're not working on a goal. Level two, they're working on a goal, but they're not doing your method. Level two are people that are trying to make more money with Amazon. Coaching, mm -hmm. trading, they're not doing Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so those people, the a strategy for converting their attention into clients is by showing them how your method is a better method than what they're doing. It's a faster, easier, uh, and you know, more lucrative method, but you don't have to convince them to have a goal. They already are trying to work hard towards quitting their job or making enough money to, you know, whatever level one are people that are working towards a goal and doing your method. The level one people, which is the smallest part of the market, it's a tiny circle. Those are the people that are already doing Airbnb arbitrage. Now here's the cool thing. The way you sell those people is by just having more results than that. So someone has one or two properties and they're trying to scale to 20. Money, you can be like, yeah, we have 10. And it's easy to sell them. You could charge those people the most amount of money and it's easier It's easier to close them because it's a literally like they're convinced already of your method and the goal. So they just need to know, they just have to trust that you know how to get them, help them, you know, speed up the process. So they'll, they'll pay you 15 grand, 20 grand, but there's less of them. There's least amount of those people. Level two, you need to convince them your method is the best. There's, there's a medium sized market for that. The largest market are the people that just can be convinced to want to make more money and then be convinced your method is the way and then be convince you're the guy. So it's an order. Larger is first, you got to convince them. Essentially, that's lifestyle market. Those are the people like Derek who are showing you what wealth can look like. He's targeting level threes. Once they are convinced that they can they can have something like Derek, like a lifestyle, then they ask how. And then Derek goes, here's Airbnb. Then they all get convinced Airbnb is the way. And guess what? When they go into his funnels, now he has to convince them that his program is the best program for this method to achieve that lifestyle. But there's more work we're doing, but there's also the larger market, total addressable market. The fastest path path isn't always the least amount of work or the least amount of steps. Mm -hmm. Short doesn't mean fast all the time. Fastest path could take more work, but it's the fastest to building a million dollar business. It might not be the shortest. So a longer path could actually be the fastest path. And the way I'm saying that is as long as you know your strategy, your market, so you accordingly make your efforts into the right strategy for that market, mm -hmm. you'll probably get the fastest path to it. It might take you less time to teach everyone how to want to make more money and then do Airbnb in your program. So the level three, it might you might get there faster to build a million dollar business than you would trying to sell small amount of people that are already doing Airbnb on scaling. As long as you know which market you're trying to attack and then you have a strategy right. for that because they, they require different objectives. Theoretically, this is why testing is. Right now, as you're going out there and seeing who's interested, you can pick which level you're in and go, okay, let's go all in. In the perfect scenario, you start in this level one. You find 10 people to pay you 15 grand to show you how to fix all the sophisticated problems of running the Airbnb business at a big scale because you have 10 more properties than they do. In the perfect world, you just start small. Then you could then when you've exhausted this like you have a lot of like coaching or done for you helping those people and they'll pay more money because they're obviously they already are sold on all of them. they just need to make sure you guys are better than them then mm -hmm. you could expand to like all right let's teach everyone else to do airbnb and you can use your 10 15 clients to close at a high price then when you've exhausted this where you like you're convincing people to switch from their method to yours then you start going to like teaching like sh inspiring people to have more in their life and then they'll ask how do we do that then you see airbnb in a perfect world you start from the middle you work your way <laughs>